Uh, here I'm going to show you how to install the app that runs on your mobile device. I'm using an iPad here, but you can use an iPhone or an Android phone or pad device. So I bring up the install for the apps, and here I will type one word, next drive. And you can see that we have the next drive to install. Once the install is done, we can simply open the application. After you install the application on your iPad or other device, you turn on the next drive and you will see that the list here is in my Wi-Fi settings. It shows up as uh, Bob's next drive. So I will select that. Okay, after you connect your Wi-Fi to the next drive, you bring up the app and you can see here you have the, a next drive showing here. And this one represents how many people are connected to that. So right now one person is connected to the next drive. Right here is this little uh, settings, brings up the settings and configuration for the next drive. Here is firmware and build date and then the capacity of the SD card in the uh, next drive and then how much is available. So here's where you wanna come look and see how full your card is quickly. And right here is where you set up the device name, and I set up Bob's Next Drive here. And then this uh, Join Wi-Fi Network uh, slider switch here, you can see is on in this case. And what this allows me to do is connect the Next Drive directly to a by Wi-Fi here in my home. And when I do that, you can see it's JMV Home is who I'm connected to. And if you look over here on the next drive you can see it's a it's connected wi-fi here this is nice because now i can connect to all the devices in my house and everyone can use my next drive as a as a network uh, backup uh, if you're out on the road and you don't have an access point you can turn this off and that creates ability to do a direct connect to your your next drive and you can support up to five of your own personal Wi-Fi devices connected to the next drive where it's acting like a, a hotspot. So when you're done with your settings, you just uh, hit the, this uh, done button here. Okay, here we have the next drive app and you can see right here, I'm connected to Bob, Bob's next drive. And right above that is iPad. And what that is, is the local file system that is stored within the Next Drive app. That gives you the ability to create files and folders and organize content that you want on your iPad. And the iOS doesn't support that. It's a flat file system. So this is really nice for organizing your content. I'll show an example of that. Uh, you add content to your file system with the little plus sign at the bottom. So we click that and you can add a new folder right here and I will make a music folder. And then I'll add another one which is uh, pictures. And let's go into the picture uh, folder here and we can add some content by clicking the bottom right plus and let's add something from my picture um, or my, my photo library my, all the photos I have and I take the picture and plop it in here and now you can see we have a picture in the um, picture folder okay now I'll show you how to view files on your next drive. So we click the next drive icon here and you can see we, um, this is, these are the files and folders on my next drive. And if we go to demo files here, I can bring up pictures and see them for um, right on my next drive. And let's say I want to email this to someone, of course, then you can just email or 
uh, send to Google Drive, uh, print, what have you. And now I have this, I'm looking at a file that's on the uh, next drive, but this little icon down here will share that directly and put it in your local uh, picture roll on your device. So that just saved this picture to my camera roll, which is really cool. So it's easy to get at content on your next drive and share it with other people. Okay, so after I showed you how to share pictures, you can come and uh, see. Uh, it's very fast to look at different pictures, and these are nice quality images. And we can also do things like play multimedia files, so we can play uh, songs and share them with friends. It's very simple. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Not only can you play uh, audio files, you can also play movies. So here I have a the Mission Impossible movie on my next drive, and I want to play it. So it's you can see it makes it really quite easy to um, play and share content with friends. Okay, another um, thing is really I find very useful is. Let's say I want to um, have a, I have a file here and I want to share this and put this picture on my Dropbox. Uh, so I can copy a file to Dropbox and then put it in just, uh, I'll just say new folder and can say pics. So that's very, very handy. I can put content to my Dropbox, or I can go take content from my, and you can see the PIX uh, directory here that I, that I created. I also can go take a file and load it from my Dropbox and view them, as well as send those files to my um, my own um, local iPad storage or to my uh, next drive. So I can just copy that to my next drive. So it's very simple to move content from any cloud to your next drive and from your next drive to the cloud. You also can move content from your local uh, iPad file system in NextDrive to the cloud and back from the cloud, as well as store it uh, to your local iPad or, uh, or Android device. So it's very, very handy for uh, users to do what they want to do quickly, all within the NextDrive app. Now, one other thing about the NextDrive and the NextDrive app is you're able to add protection for each file. Uh, what I mean by that is you're able to add a password for each file. So if I go into the edit mode in my browser here and I select a file, you can see at the bottom here, you can select a rename, mail, but there's this one called lock. So I click the lock one and I can put in um, a password. So I can say, let's say FOO for the name. And now that um, file is actually, you know, heavily encrypted and locked. And you can see that the file is locked. You can't view it unless you have the password. And that's really nice. The other thing is if you take the next drive and you take it out of Wi-Fi mode and plug it into a PC and use it as a USB stick, the file is locked. And that is very nice to protect your files. Okay, so as you can see, the NextDrive app is really an incredibly powerful app. It allows you to uh, have a local file system that you can manage and store your device content and back that up to your NextDrive. Share that with other people that are connected to your Wi-Fi network and then also have complete integration with 
cloud services like Dropbox. And this makes for a uh, very, very useful tool for managing your content and sharing it with others in a way that's just never been able to do before. So thank you for your time and enjoy your next drive.